All right. Here is a must-have mod, you OP bastards. This mod is work in progress, it's in beta version still, but it fixes the most glaring issue in this game. Besides technical issues, obviously. It fixes late game problems. During the late game you're pretty much overpowered tank, no one can hurt you, you can kill everything with one shot, so it pretty much kills all the fun. With this mod things will change. It will buff armor values of enemies, enemies in groups will be a horror to deal with, especially if there's an enemy with plate armor. They will attack more frequently, they will not stand in line. Damage is reduced and I will also tell you how to even reduce it further because I don't believe the damage has been reduced enough. I'm gonna cover that during the end of this video. There are also economy changes and many more changes, so kudos to the author of this mod, really nice work. There are some bugs, for example if you pick up any kind of polearm weapon you cannot sheath it anymore, so you cannot basically use polearms, but it will be fixed soon. And there is also now polearm skill tree, shield skill tree and dagger as well. Dagger is not in function yet, but it will be soon enough. As I said, this is truly in testing phase, but it can be applied to game to improve your experience. I cannot remember the last time when I had my arse kicked, if we discount the beginnings of the game where you were learning stuff and so on. But with this mod, I tried to clear some camps going Rambo style, as you do in this game, and it came to bite me in the arse. No fucking way, I got my arse kicked easily, so this th this means that you're gonna have to really be careful at how you approach things. Running away from combat this time is a really good option, and you're gonna value the perks that will increase the chance of enemies fleeing or being intimidated by you. Without me reading all the changes and everything that this mod does, I will just link it in the description so you can download it, and now let's get to how you can decrease attack value even more, which I believe it is necessary. You're still gonna cut through light armor opponents like butter, but that's pretty much how it should be. You cannot expect a shirt to stop sword slash. Plate armor on the other hand pretty much cannot be damaged by any kind of sword, so you're gonna have to use mace unless you really want to die. Now let's get on how to install the mod and how to change the attack value. You need to locate your installation folder for King to come deliverance. In my case it's a default Steam one, program files, just follow the clicking that I'm doing. Now when we are in Kingdom Come Deliverance folder you need to go to data and here you need to extract the mod. Now the mod is active, you don't need to activate it anywhere else. This is it. To change attack value, right click onto the mod, edit with notepad++ if you don't have it, download it, or you can try it with the normal notepad, but I don't know if it's gonna work, it didn't work for me with normal notepad. When you are in the mod file, press Control button plus F, and type this, skill to DMG. Find next. And it's gonna find this value, skill to DMG const A. Currently this value is at 250, default one for this mod is 100, which I don't believe is enough. So what this does is simply determines how much strength and agility will affect the damage that you're doing. The higher the value, the less the effect it's gonna be. Default for the game is, I believe, 70. 
I put it by myself to 250 and I'm really happy with the changes. You're gonna slash through light armor opponents easily, but on the other hand, plate is a completely different story. Change the option yourself, see what fits your playstyle. If you're at the early game, there's no need to change anything, but from mid to late game, you're just gonna keep increasing this because otherwise the game becomes too easy. Don't forget to make backups, read everything about the mod before you decide to install it. And that's it. There are plenty more things you can change here. That's up to you if you want to play with stuff, but this is the most important one. Don't forget to save the changes. Going File, Save. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.